Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, uh, today I want to speak about the oxygen concentration and oxygen therapy. First of all, you listen that air contains 20% of oxygen. So everybody on in the world is on 20% of oxygen. If you add from oxygen cylinder uh, 1 liter oxygen per hour, then it will add 4%. So a patient on 1 liter oxygen having 24% uh, oxygen, 2 liter 28%, 3 liter 32%. Uh, we know we are very much well known to high flow oxygen. It, in, it is a patient is having 10 liter oxygen per hour. So this 10 liter oxygen per hour indicates that he is having high flow oxygen and now 20 equal to 20 liter per hour equal to 100 percent oxygen i think you understand mm, this is final that oxygen is given in an amount to maintain target saturation 97 not 97 actually 98 percent irrespective of amount needed for the patient but the patient must not have evidence of carbon dioxide retention and acidosis both clinically or by AVG. That means uh, cl clinical and uh, biochemical uh, parameter of carbon dioxide retention. I you can detect it clinically by presence of flap and warm periphery, bounding peripheral pulse and drowsiness or confusion. So this is the proof that 1 liter oxygen equal to 24%. Uh, etc so what is the target oxygen uh, before i said that uh, target oxygen should be uh, 98 percent in patient who does not have copd but in case of copd this is 88 to 92 percent that means if you fulfill the oxygen demand in a patient with copd he his respiration respiratory drive will be switched off because he is quietly dependent on um, oxygen so uh, now it is my personal experience that a patient uh, having uh, uh, having cyanosis especially in covid uh, infected patient i have seen that a patient uh, have uh, oxygen saturation of uh, 89% when i give 1 liter oxygen it fulfills uh, it it maintains 95 percent oxygen saturation but the patient's respiratory rate is higher that means it is more than you know uh, more than 20 uh, more than 30 breaths per minute but if i give three liter oxygen the saturation is maintained in 98 percent and respiratory rate is 17 so uh, respiratory drive is also an indicator of low oxygen uh, because if you are not getting enough oxygen through a breath you will breathe much higher rate and uh, uh, this is the indication of uh, ICU or intubation ventilation in a patient with, uh, mm, uh, in, uh, with pneumonia and you see here that uh, a pa so any patient with uh, with respiratory failure uh, should be treated with oxygen sufficient to maintain saturation in a level of uh, in a level of you know 98% if copd 92% but what are the indication of intubation and ventilation intubation and ventilation uh, is needed when the patient have carbon dioxide retention and carbon dioxide retention lead to acidosis and progressive hypercapnia that means increased carbon dioxide and uh, circulatory shock or reduced con consciousness level reduced consciousness level is because uh, if the patient is uh, is lessly conscious he will not breathe adequately so he may need non-invasive ventilation or invasive ventilation thank you